Hello everyone, Foyrex here with another tutorial. This time I have prepared some 4 or 5 ways to make an intro text for your mission. I'm talking only about the text, not the whole intro, but only the very first lines of text that can either indicate to the player where he is and what is happening, or you can use it to present him the mission name, or perhaps use it for credits, it's up to you. I just want to show you several nice ways to display text, so let's get into it. The first way is very simple, it's just a normal text, it can be in the middle of the screen or more to the bottom. The command is title text and you can make it by writing title text, brackets, your own text in question marks, comma and the effect in another part of question marks. The effect can be either plain for the text in the middle or plain down for the text at the bottom. If used wisely, this effect, as simple as it is, can be very nice in many missions. You just need to use it in the right moment and some missions are simply not suited for this effect. But well I guess that this applies to all text effects. Never mind the second way is already slightly more interesting. It uses the in-game function info text to display your message. That is like a script already placed in the game. So all you have to do is to tell the game what text to display and it will do the difficult work for you. The command looks like this, it's a spawn command with several parameters. In this array is your text, each line divided by a comma. The effect is really nice in many occasions, but again you always have to consider if this effect is really the best for your type of mission or if that specific situation is the best to show the text. The third and fourth way are very similar, in fact it's one thing only placed differently on the screen. I use functions type text and type text too. And the only visible difference here is the placement of the text. The upper part of the screen, centered on the middle or the right side. The text is divided into segments that show one after another on the screen. The script also lets you edit each of these segments like a structured text. So you can change size, color, add shadow and such just like you can see in the video. Beware of slight differences in the spawn command. Type text has these T's, while type text 2 doesn't have them, also moving to the next line is done slightly differently. Again, be careful when using this effect, not every mission is suited for it. You can also use another effect, the black screen and or slow fading from black to the mission. You can start a mission with a black screen, show the player some text and use all this time to let the game to load properly and sort everything out. It's all up to your decision. The command is cut text and looks like this. Cut text brackets, question marks, comma, quote, black in, quote, comma, and a number indicating the time of transition in seconds. You can also use the black out instead of black in for a reverse effect. And if you don't like black color, use white instead. The game lets you use these two colors. Ok, now for something a little bit more complicated. You can actually use these commands to show the player something that differs every time. For example, if you have a very randomized mission and it starts in a different time with each launch, you can use more commands inside the text effect command to display the correct time. Let's say I want to display the time, hours and minutes using all these effects. The time can be tracked by several commands if I'm not mistaken, but the best one is the command date. It returns the in-game date in the form of array, year, month, day, hours and minutes. We are interested in the last two numbers, so I'll extract them from the array. I mentioned arrays in my last tutorial about coordinates, so just briefly. Every element of an array has a number related to its position. Year is the first element, so it has a number 0. Month has a 1 and so on. So I'll pick numbers 3 and 4. Now I need to edit all these commands for it to work. For title text I will have to use the command format. And because I cannot use these together I will pick a variable and now assign the text to it. First the text itself and then person 1, person 2. These percent things will be later replaced by variables so add a comma and now place the variables in the correct order. To be sure that it works, I will convert the date to the form of a string. For the info text, I can place the date parts right into the command, but I need to have them in the form of text, so I'll convert them to text using the command str, short for string. 
Remember, you can't have quotes here because you don't want the game to show those words. And type text or type text to the same method as info text. A text can be easily replaced by other variables, just bear in mind that you need to convert them to the string format and also you need to have question marks around the text. Of course, I will leave all of these commands on pastebin, link will be in the description so you can get all these things over there. And that's basically it. I'm not sure if there are any more functions from the library that can be used for these intro text. If there are more, tell me, so that I can inform others about them. I suppose that you can also use resources to display text, but I think that's way too complicated method of displaying text, and for now I'd like to avoid that. Tutorials on resources are difficult to create. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, I hope to see you all in the next video, comment, like and share, and have a great day!